FGM-148 Javelin missile. The missile's been in the headlines lately, primarily because of its use by the Ukrainian military against the Russians in their ongoing conflict in Ukraine. That includes the American-made anti-tank weapon known as a Javelin missile. It includes the American-made anti-tank weapon known as the Javelin. Missile's been around since around 1996, used extensively by the U.S. Army and the U.S. Marine Corps in combat operations in Afghanistan and Iraq. By the time you factor in the number of missiles used operationally and those used in training, this left a, an inventory number of between 20 and 25,000. Of these, 7,000 have been shipped by the United States to Ukraine. The Ukrainian government claims that these missiles have been used to great effect against the Russians. Indeed, they're claiming over 1,300 Russian tanks and armored fighting vehicles destroyed. The Pentagon says of the first 112 missiles fired by the Ukrainians, 100 hit their targets. This is nearly a one-to-one -one kill ratio. But if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The missiles sent by the United States to Ukraine were older variants that had been upgraded. This means that the electronic actuators used to guide the missile to their target fail at a high rate. Likewise, the high explosive charge uh, likewise malfunctions. This means the missile is not nearly as lethal as claimed. There's some anecdotal information coming from the Russians that indicate that this might indeed be the case. Award citations uh, put for Russian tankers in combat indicate that their tanks have been struck five, six times by javelins and the tanks still are operational. Videos put out by the Russian Ministry of Defense show that tanks being repaired likewise have been struck multiple times and again, are still able to continue fighting. The bottom line is the myth of the javelin missile is probably just that, a myth.